Hello everyone, today I will be explaining how to use triggers. Specifically, I have a bowling game here and we're going to count the score with the pins that fall. Perfect, so a way to know if a pin has fallen is to detect if the top of the pin touches the ground, right? So what we're going to do Oh, uh, something else I want to show first. Uh, right now, what's happening if we put play, the ball falls, hits the pins, and nothing. Here we have a score that I added with Text Mesh Pro. Here we have a score, and nothing. It just says score is zero, nothing is set. Perfect. So, what we're going to start with is in each pin, so here I have a prefab of the pins, I want to add a collider. So let's do something. Here we have the pin. I want to add a collider on the top of the pin that it will send a trigger so a script is instantiated. So here we're going to add a collider. We sub Let's put a capsule collider just because we can change it. So we grab here, we put it on the top. There, something like that will work. Perfect. So if this capsule touches the ground, then we can say, great, the pin has fallen. So, so that it triggers the script, what we're going to have to do is add here the is trigger has to be activated. Perfect. Now we're going to add a component and this is going to be called, for example, add score. Create and add. Perfect. So great, we will click, we'll open up our editor and for right for now we'll just delete all this unnecessary code and start from an empty code. When the pin falls and touches something, this is trigger will activate a function in the script that is called on trigger enter. That one. So each time that it touch it, it triggers, then it will call this function. So what what we're going to do is print um, plus one, like one point, one of score, if it triggers. But when do we want it to specifically? Add one point if it touches the floor. So what we're going to do, if other that this the other object that is touching, right? So when it triggers, it's because the colliders, what the collider is touching another another collider. So what we're going to do is other dot name equals floor. So if we look at our project In our project, we have here the floor, so that's why we put equals floor. And also, it ha it can touch the floor or it can touch these these dividers. So we have to add the divider one. So if the name is floor or if the other dot name equals divider, then we'll print plus one. And also what we can do is destroy it. Game object. So here we're destroying the game object itself. So the pin will disappear. Great. So if we run this code, so um, here we have the trigger that is set and we have the add score. So right now, 
if we run the code, what will happen? The ball will fall and the pins will disappear as they touch the ground. Great. And here in the console, I didn't show, but each pin printed the plus one. So here we have a 10, that means that 10 times the plus one was printed, so each pin, that are 10 pins, printed plus one. Perfect. So we're going to in we're going to need the text, right? So we're going to have a serialized field. This means that you can change it from the editor. So I'll show you right now what this means. Private text mesh pro. Yeah. There we go. So this is the text from text mesh pro. And we're also going to have saved the score, the current score, right? So we're going to start it in zero. Perfect. In the start, we're going to set the text in the text message pro as score equals zero. So that's it. We can delete the update function. And we have to have a function that will be called and will update the score. So we can call it, it has to be public, so other scripts can call it public void. This means we don't return anything. Add score. What this function will do is simply add one to the score. So by doing plus plus, we're adding one to the score. And we have to update the text. So we're going to put text dot text equals score plus um, the score. There. So here we will be changing the text each and first we add the score. Perfect. So what we have to do now is call this function so the text is updated. So from the script in the pin here we're going to first have to find the score manager right so in the start function um well first first we have to create we have to get the score manager so we have to have the the variable right so we're going to have the private score manager. So we're here we have the class of the score manager. So like the basically the script where we have the script. And in the start we have to find it. So how do we do this? We're going to score manager equals. So to find any game object, we can do game object dot find, and then we put here the name in the editor so in the in unity in the project so here how is the object called score manager so we're going to put here score manager and then we have to look in its components so what did we do here in the object score manager, we have a component. These are called components. 
that is called Score Manager 2. So what we're going to do is here dot get component score manager. Perfect. So here what we did is get the script and find the object and get the component, specifically the score manager. So here we have the score manager. Now what we can do is call each time we touch the floor, we can call the score manager and run this, the function add score. Perfect. So now um, we have to attach. So when it's serialized field, as I said before, here now we can see it in the Unity. So what we have to do is attach the Text Mesh Pro to it. So here we have the Text Mesh Pro. We just click, drag, and drop. And nothing else. So we just, we, we can check here if you want. Each pin will have the capsule collider with the trigger and the add score script. So now if we run it, we'll maximize this. The ball falls, and you have the total score. That's how you do it.